This is Naseko Ski Resort and it is one of the top resorts in Japan. And that is my brother Corey. He's sort of the reason we're even going on this trip in the first place, but lucky enough for me, I get to tag along. But why are we even here in the first place? Let's take things back to Christmas Day 2023, where I surprised my brother with one of the best Christmas gifts he will ever receive. And a snowboarding bag. Come on, I really spoil him. Oh, that's sweet. That's way nice. Oh, a Japan resort. <laughs> So yeah, that's what started this crazy adventure we are about to go on, where we will spend the next 7 days traveling across the entire world and snowboarding at our dream resort in Japan. Alright, the travel day has officially begun. We got some icy conditions on the road. Drive to the airport is taking basically double the time that it was supposed to. At least. So we're getting there with about 45 minutes to get all checked in and everything and get to our gate before doors close. We got a long, long travel day ahead of us and it's just the beginning. All right, so here's what we got cooking. We got to the airport 50 minutes before our gates closed on our flight. We got to check our bags and then wait through security and then get on the flight. I got to pee too. All right, bro, we got six minutes for the doors close on our plane. We are stepping. Holy freak, I'm out of breath. We made it to LA and now we have a slight 11 hour layover in the international terminal. And let me tell you, man, this is horrible. We can't get our tickets in, so we can't go through the terminal. So we're just waiting outside. We got some sandwiches and we're sitting at random little chairs. This is lit, boy. All right, quick little update, ladies and gentlemen. It's currently about 5.30. Mobile check-ins not working, the kiosks aren't working, so we need to wait for the counter to open. We were told it opens at five, but one person said five, one person said six, not open. We talked to another dude, 6.30. So we gotta wait another hour now before we can get in through security to our gate. And there's so much more food in there. So we're gonna bust out on some panda once we get in. But for now, we're back to waiting. After finally checking in, it was time for our sweet, sweet panda. It's like 7.30, we checked in, and now we're just waiting by the gate. Our flight doesn't board for another like two hours, now we just keep sitting and keep waiting. That boy buzzing? Mmm, the plane has arrived, ladies and gentlemen. That is a big mofo. That boy is large. It's about to be home for the next, I think actually almost 15 hours. After about 11 hours of waiting, we finally got on the plane and we got some free gifts. I love my free gifts. We got us a nice little blankie. We got us a little pillow and some headphones I put somewhere. I got my neck pillow. I'm ready to sleep. Bro, this thing is huge. game interview it was quite fantastic i'll be honest i'm pleasantly surprised i ate all my food some of Gorn's food i don't think he liked it too much you know more for me you know what they say more for me they say. oh baby breakfast is served yummy After a long, like, 57-hour flight, it felt like, we officially are in Taiwan. We have, like, a three-hour layover, I think. I'm actually not exactly sure. And then after that, we are off to Japan. This place is lit, bro. I can't lie. First things first, though, you know I had to eat, as always. We better hit a little taste test on this, boy. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that boy busting. That busting, huh? Then it was time to take a tour around the airport before making our way to the next flight. We're on our final flight of the day, ladies and gentlemen. We got a 242 configuration on the plane. We got no partner today. No way. Bro, we hecka got games. And you guys definitely know the routine by now. More food. All right, so we made it to Japan. 
ladies and gentlemen. Now we're waiting for our bags. There is a high probability of our snowboards not making it. So each snowboard bag we had had an air tag in it. After arriving in Taiwan, our snowboard bags were still showing up in LA. Weird, right? But we trusted the process and waited to see what was gonna happen, meaning we were going to miss one full day of snowboarding. Holy at least ball sack, you will never freaking understand what we just went through to get to this hotel. And let me tell you, it is absolutely splendid. If anyone stays in this room at this hotel, just know I probably got lit on your bed. I think you got those slippers, bro. I'm gonna have to try these boys on, I can't lie. We got our two beds, two little twin beds. We looking real cute in here. I can't lie, but this room's actually pretty nice. We got a TV in this, John, come on. Bathroom, number one. Let me tell you, I walk in here, I literally thought we got gypped out of a toilet, right? Nice little bathroom, small tub, don't really matter. But then, voila, the freaking lit toilet, bro. Dude, I've been so excited about these toilets ever since I heard about this. It's like 7 p.m., but it feels like four in the morning. I'm so hungry, so we're gonna find some food here soon. Dude, this thing's warm as balls, Gordon. Yeah, I think it's heater for the clothes to dry them off. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, that's lit. We made it. We got the grubbers, ladies and gentlemen. I want you guys to guess in the comments how much we got all this freaking food for. So we each got some little random drinks we've never seen. They both look freaking gas, I can't lie. We got two ice cream things. I'll film it when we try so you see it all. Big old waters. Both of us got waters. We got seaweed chips, a blue fruit leather, and two big, big, big cup of noodles each. We just had to go get on our knees and beg someone to give us some hot water. <laughs> so we're gonna try all these boys out. Oh! I had to got my table actually. Mm-hmm. One of these might film me The food here is unmatched so far. That's amazing. I am about to indulge in the most highly anticipated deuce of my life. This is gonna be magnificent. I'm a changed man. And on that, it's time for bed. All right, so here's the plan for the day. Our bags are still MIA. They're in Taiwan, which is where we were at yesterday. So we're thinking they're gonna be on the same flight that we were on yesterday, but today. So they should get here by end of day today, hopefully. So right now we're just going downtown. We're gonna get breakfast and then probably just do like some shopping and like around the town. So we're one day less snowboarding. We better get mobile in the town. Yes, sir, ski. <laughs> Hey, we pulled up, got our first vending machine experience in Japan. Took us 50 hours, it almost got the best of us. But we made it out, and we're right by the freaking mountain. A little bit of a blue ball, we can't do nothing about it. But we're gonna drink our drinks and try these mofos out. Hey, you go first. Shut up, Bobby. It's gas, though. Is it? Mm -hmm. Hold it. Oh, hold it, I thought you were showing <laughs> <laughs> It's just facing me. Mmm, <laughs> you good? Yeah, it's just like water with a hint of peach. <laughs> w vending machine. <laughs> Apple juice. All right, we got us some little drip. Me and Courtney just got a little piece of clothing, nothing too crazy. Then we got a bunch of stuff that we got to try later. But we're going to get food right now. These are like some little chocolate biscuits, it says. Mm-hmm. We got the goods, baby. I really don't know what it is. It's a chori pun, chori pin, something like that. But it's like sausage on a bun. He said it's gas. Mmm. Mmm. That's good, huh? Uh-huh. We just got back to the hotel. A cold, cold walk. Great food, though. But look at... <laughs> I spilled out his shirt. But look at what came, baby. Snowboard bags have arrived. Let's freaking go. So we're gonna get all ready for bed. And tomorrow is snowboarding day. It is cold, bro. It said seven degrees when we walked out there. And man, it feels it, let me tell you. I don't know if you can hear me right now, but we here, baby. Like negative six degrees. Bro, this is wild. It's cold. We are in the most luxurious lift of all time right now. We got the cushion seats. We got the full glass covering. This is all covered, bro. It is so warm in here. The first sushi of the trip, my boy. Yes, sir, ski. Fire, bro. 
Just got done with lunch. Man, we are feeling tired. We got this little monster to hopefully keep us kicking. Bro, I forgot how tiring this stuff was, especially in powder. Holy crap. boarding for the day went home we're freaking dead as a mofo bro let me tell you <laughs> yo that was really clean I ain't even in it. so we hung out chilled for a little bit but now we got to make the walk all the way back to town i don't know if we told you guys how far this walk is this is a far walk my boy i think i'm dehydrated this is crazy out here we're getting one food place we're gonna shop and take a few little flicks for the old grams what a journey oh we got to get breakfast food on the way back or i just want some more yogurt that was gas after finally having everything go to plan getting our boards and having a nice day of boarding we were ready to do it all again tomorrow that was until <laughs> this happened all right so we woke up day number three, three? Yeah, day number four, third day here. Feeling like absolute trash. I got a cough, super tired, headache, just a little sick. Not ideal, but it is what it is. I think we're gonna try and go snowboard for a little bit. I'm gonna be fighting for my life out there, I think. But if worse comes to worst, we'll just come home and relax for a little bit, then hit the town a little bit later. But time will tell. We made our way to the slope and my body was just not having it whatsoever. After just one run, I had to call it quits so I didn't injure myself. So we took some time to relax, then hit the town and got a few little treats. <coughs> oh God. Are they? Oh my God. And then just like that, it was time to travel back home. I was even more sick today and barely had the energy to move, let alone film. So there's not much here. But even though things may have not gone exactly as planned, we still had an amazing trip and made some great memories. Maybe we'll have to do a little retry in the future.